Okay, the material we selected is glass fiber reinforced concrete. Uh, this presentation is by Muhammad Kharbosi, Sarah Khalil, Ahmad Mohsen, Ashraf Maizin, Adil Takhar, Minamin Adim, and then Atul. And the way the presentation is divided is, um, is part A and part B, just like it is in the rubric. First, we're going to go through what glass, re glass fiber reinforced concrete is. And basically what it is, is concrete that uses glass fibers instead of steel for reinforcement. And the point is that the glass fibers are alkali resistant, so they, they resist corrosion. And the surface is made of Portland cement. And so the three main components of glass fiber reinforced concrete are cement, fine aggregate, and the alkali resistant glass reinforcement. Um, the main characteristics of this material are that it's uh, mainly that it's lightweight and strong and durable. It's hollow. It's also very thin. That's why people like to use it. And it's also safe because it's fire resistant and it's non-corrosive and non-combustible. It also, it's a better choice than steel because it's, it's not as dense as steel and it doesn't rust. Also, it's, it doesn't attract termites and other insects. Um, it also has a uh, very low coefficient of thermal expansion, um, which gives the, which when applied to a wall, it gives it good thermal properties. And it has um, high tensile strength, which is in the fiber component. And the historical background shows that the, the material was founded in the mid-1900s in, in Russia. Um, in the 1960s, uh, the, it was transferred from one country to another to be modified. And the modifications included, like, aging tests that allowed them to make the glass alkali resistant. Also, um, further research in the U.S. Uh, made the material, gave it the strong and lightweight qualities that it has. And by the 1980s, they, they included the, the glass fibers. They made it so that they could actually replace re steel when you come uh, for reinforcement. And today, it's used in over 100 countries, and Egypt actually manufactures it from uh, orders it from Japan. Um, the main applications that, that cross fiber reinforced concrete is used for in Egypt are architecture, building, and engineering. The architectural applications include mainly cladding, moldings, and landscaping. Um, for cladding, the, the, uh, the GRC is, is less used for prefab, and the, it, where in that case, it's made into thin, lightweight panels. Uh, when it comes to moldings, um, it's good for moldings because it, it allows the, the person that's designing something to have flexibility with the curves and stuff because it can be cast into whatever shape, in a wide variety of shapes, and, uh, and it can be cast into very fine details and it's easy to handle. And for the landscaping, um, it's used for like those artificial waterfalls, and it's used in fountains, that planters, and most of the urban furniture that you find today has GRC in it. In Egypt, uh, in buildings, they use it mainly for walls and windows, roofing, and the main construction. In construction, they offer it for if they if they want pre-finished edges in the side construction, that's what they use it for. And uh, for the walls and windows, for the windows, they usually may use it for the window sills. And for the walls, they add it. They add it because it it gives them. Um, it upgrades the thermal characteristics and it gives better insulation. And uh, the roofing, basically, they, you can use it as corrugated sheets or chimneys. Uh, chimneys are not that widely often used in Egypt, but that's what they use it for. Engineering applications include, um, like, mainly acoustical applications, and that's. Um, that's mainly uh, noise barriers, screens. That they use those in the concert halls. What the GRC is used for in the acoustical applications is either absorbs the sound or disperses it. In tunnels, it's a good idea to use GRC because it doesn't occupy the open space of the tunnel. And in Egypt, they use um, they use GRC for drainage also because it has low resistance to water flow and it has good um, permeability qualities. Um, the main advantages and disadvantages of, of GRC um, include uh, 
most of the characteristics that we've been through before, like the lightweight, the strength, the versatility. Um, also, it's very easy to handle and it's fast to erect. And it reduces the, the loadings on the buildings. It reduces the loadings. It does not mean it, it substitutes the loadings. It just reduces them because it's lightweight. And that's uh, economic. And it's also environmentally friendly. It's sustainable. It's also easy to, it's good for reproduction, which means it's, it's easy to reproduce something multiple times, like easy to go back and do the same thing multiple times with GRC. And it's also good for, for renovation. The main disadvantages include are like disadvantages specific to Egypt, like the, the fact that it's like scarce in the local market, and um, it's also quite expensive, like 500 pounds per meter squared. And um, it's not ideal to use in a climate like Egypt because it reduces the heat loss, which means it holds on to the heat for a long time. And and another disadvantage which is international, is that um, replacing the damaged parts is difficult because it, because it shows when you, come to, when you come to replace it with GRC. Um, the availability in Egypt, well, it depends on what the, the client asks for. It depends on the client's project. They're custom made. They're, they're made as per order. They're not made in like mass units. So, but mainly the, the main, the local market offers a wide variety of texture shapes and colors just because that's the flexibility of the GRC. Like for example, in the colors um, in Egypt, they usually apply like pigmented epoxy gel coat spray for finishings, pre-painted finish, ready to paint finish, all that's available in Egypt. And in the texture also like smooth aggregate and rectilinear, curvilinear shapes are also available in Egypt. 